Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. Happy Saturday. Now, if you saw the last video, you'll know that I ended up doing some neons. It's been a while. I got myself some new neon powders and I fell in love with this result. This gave me all of the 80s, early 90s neon vibes. So we're going on a much bigger scale. We're going to be using the Estoyo resin and we're gonna be using the round, it's not round at all, is it? It's the oval tray from Molds and Shapes. So anything you see in this video will be in the description box down below. We are gonna PPE up and then we're gonna mix up our Istoyo resin, again, all linked below. Now the first layer on this tray is going to be a simple, nice, clean, clear layer. This is so that we can go to town with our acrylic pens and draw all of the things. So again, this was such a fun technique. You don't need to do 80s. You can do anything you want as the artist. Grab your acrylic pen and just go crazy. Like have fun, all of the doodles. Oh my gosh, do you know what? My brain needs to slow down sometimes because I'm already thinking of like drawing like a Christmas scene with a white acrylic pen, like snow capped cottages in the countryside. Like we all know I'm not that good an artist, but that's in my head right now. Anyway, we have put a little bit of the Estoyo in and then I'm just heating it through with my heat gun before pouring the rest. We don't want to put too much in the mold. We still want to leave enough for the background. We're still going to be pouring a second layer of resin in this to fill this up. Now, I got so much debris. Honestly, my craft room is out of control. If you're following me on Patreon, on my Patreon page, you'll know my craft room is out of control. This is what we're going for. We're going for this messy, scribbly, squiggle kind of pattern that is really reminding me of a jacket I had in the late 80s. I wanna say I was about 10, nine or eight years old when I had this jacket. And it I, I wish I could find an image of it truly, but it was like bright yellow, pink, green and orange. And it just had these black marks all over it. And I can only describe them as doodles. So like lightning strikes and swirls and triangles and just these really fun scribbles. And I allowed myself <laughs> the freedom of just having a play with the black acrylic marker. Now these markers are also by Let's Resin. So again, you can find them in the Let's Resin stores down below. They're incredible, truly beautiful to use. They have a fat end and a real skinny point end, which is super helpful if you just wanna do thin lines. Guys, cassette tapes, sorry, what? I thought to myself, I have to add a cassette tape. Like just the image of a cassette tape is just so nostalgic. And I know you guys left so many incredible comments on the last video, your memories of, you know, you're born in the 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s and your memories of these colors brought back so many memories for you guys. But also I felt really bad because so many of you said like, thanks Claire, you've made me feel really old. And I, I promise you that was not my intention. I feel old myself like thinking like the 80s, was literally 15 years ago. Like it freaks me out to know that it was 40 years ago. I'm sorry, someone slow down time, please. Anyway, back to the cassettes. The cassette tape for me and for most of you guys here will just remind you of when you were younger. You know, the 60s, 70s, 80s. I actually don't know when they were designed. But for me, they scream 80s. I went onto Google Images and I looked at a very simple drawing of a cassette tape and I drew it on the resin because, you know, guys, I film on my phone. I still film on my phone and I needed my phone to look at the image. So that is why you suddenly saw a cassette tape drawn because I needed to draw it from my phone. And from that one image, then I was able to copy out a few more cassette tapes and just add them into the mix, you know, build up this whole abstract array of weirdness and yeah, add to it. So whilst I had referred back to Google Images a lot during this process for 80s design, 80s images, 80s 
80s scribbles and, you know, all of that jazz. These were all of the shapes that pretty much came through on Google Images. So I'm putting them into this tray. Now, it wasn't until afterwards I thought, actually, I want this bold. I want most of the drawings on this tray to be a bold, a bold consistency. No, Claire, they're not the words. Bold, okay? <laughs> I wanted them fat. There's the word. I wanted them fatter and juicier. Um, so I did end up going over pretty much the entire tray to make all of the line drawings much bigger and wider in in wide. Wider. You know, you know what I mean. I feel like I'm trying to over explain what I'm doing. Um but yeah, the tray is moving back and forth. This was not a fast process, but I have sped it up for you guys because you don't really need to sit through this in real time. It was a lot of moving the tray up, down, left and right, just so that I could get the right angle. And the exclamation marks came in from the 90s. Does anyone remember the perfume? Exclamation. Da -da -da -da. I had that bottle of perfume <laughs> for about a week. Um, but yeah, the exclamations came in as well. So this was very much a blend of the 80s and the early 90s when it came to the styles and the patterns that were going in here. And if you've been with me a while, I've said it before, I'm really not a drawer. I'm not an illustrator. I'm not a fine art artist as you can clearly tell. Um, these cassette tapes were really simply rectangles drawn with more rectangles and a couple of circles thrown in and I think as an artist you can forgive yourself if you feel like your drawing is not up to it. I just feel like if something is handmade then you should just you know allow it allow it um I didn't like I'd, I'd actually written on there I'd put the 80s on there I didn't like it at all it was all a little bit too skew iffy for me so I just used some isopropyl alcohol and a cotton bud to rub that off probably don't need isopropyl alcohol because it is just an acrylic pen I could have used a wet wipe but I think a, a isopropyl was the way forward because I knew I was putting resin down on top it was just the safest option at the time but yeah I carried on and again I'm just gonna speed this all up for you because you don't want to watch it in real time but I just went back over and I went back over everything um just to try as much as possible to neaten things up and again I put in some scribbles there you saw them going in and just outlined everything to give it a much more bold appearance and yeah let me know your thoughts and let me know if you are loving this so far I'm not gonna lie part of me like deep down I was like roller skates you know, those roller skates that literally had neon wheels and bright pink patterns on the sides of the roller skates and the yellows and the oranges and the blues. And part of me was so tempted to try and draw a roller skate, but I am it, nothing except confident that my skill set does not reach. <laughs> it does not reach to roller skates. There is no way I would be able to do a roller skate justice. Whereas I felt like with the cassette tape, it was just a series of rectangles and circles. And I just felt a bit more confident in that. But guys, stop. I found the most adorable roller skate image on Cricut. And it is very tempting to do a tray, like a bright neon tray with some black decals of roller skates. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. So this was actually, um, the it was time to top coat this. But this was a diversion. I, I, I just suddenly thought, I wonder what it would look like if we just dump literally dump some of these neon powders down onto the tray now if you missed the last video I was after some more neon powders specifically yellow I'd run out of yellow and I was craving just craving it um I went online to order some from Amazon and lo and behold Let's Resin had a kit of neon powders now whilst I do work with Let's Resin I decided to buy them because I knew that they would come like within a 24 hour period. They actually came later that night, which was insane. Um, and yes, I probably could have got them from Let's Resin, but I didn't have the patience to wait two days. <laughs> OK, 
because nobody has that anymore. Um, I went straight to Amazon for myself and I ordered them for myself to be able to use next day. And they are stunning. Now, like I said in the last video, yes, I know I, I do work with Let's Resin. I am an affiliate of Let's Resin, but guys, they are truly, truly beautiful. Um, you saw the results and I've since obviously done it with um, Jesmonite. You have not yet seen those results using the Let's Resin neons. Unbelievable. Um, you will see some results in the next video. I'm going to show you a sneak peek of just how incredibly wow these neon powders work in Jesmonite and I'm assuming then therefore other ecos as well so yeah keep your eyes peeled for the next video. I didn't have a clue what to expect from just dumping a load of this powder down on the tray. I just figured it would give some visual interest on demold but genuinely I had no idea if it would ruin it if it would just take away from it um no idea but hey we're here to have fun and that's what we're gonna have and oh boy I did so now I'm just trying to pour the resins I've mixed up the yellow the pink the orangey coral and the green and I'm trying to pour them over where I've put the powders. Now, this was easier said than done. To be honest, this was easier said than done. It, of course, it did meld. It did all flow away because resin does what resin wants. It's its own boss. Um, equally, I'm loving the colours. I'm loving the brightness of this. Why I am feeling so bright and sunny lately, I don't. It's just the, the feeling of spring and all of that is in the air. But I'm loving the colours. Now, it was really at this point, I could see them all merging and I could see them, as we all know, resin travels to the centre of anything you use, depending on what it is you're using. But anything flat like this, resin does navigate and it, it slowly moves from the edges all the way into the centre. Now, it wasn't until afterwards I thought, hmm, might have made a mistake because six hours later... I used the Let's Resin 4 Hour Cure Resin for the background six hours later and it looks muddy. It looked really muddy. Now, on Demold, I genuinely took a breath. I was like, what has happened? What has happened here? This is beyond cool. I was not expecting this. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. It genuinely looks like I've got lights inside my tray. Those areas where I have literally dumped powder, like in clumps, they've stayed and they've stayed in place, which has created these incredible pops of neon brightness, like bright, bright, not, not just bright, but in your face, wow, they look like light bulbs, they look like bursts of neon electricity coming through the tray which was insane I could have not predicted that I didn't know how that was going to turn out as for the tray overall I'm not loving the green next to the orangey coral I think it muddied too much it's gone a bit brown not what I was looking for but look at these pops look at these crazy neon pops of color these remind me of you know when you're when you're flying into land and you fly over a city and you can see the lights from the sky you can see the lights of a city glowing but nothing else that's what this reminded me of and whilst it's pretty damn cool I'm loving the brightness of it I just think for me the green and the orange muddied too much and we have got some brown in some places which is not what I wanted I wanted a real neon neon you know result equally I think it's pretty cool I don't know why my my brain automatically went to the West Indies it automatically went to like drum, drum Jamaica Jamaica and Granada Grenada and yeah Dominican I don't know why my brain was taking me to all of these fantastically colorful flags of the West Indies but let me know let me know what you think because my brain I literally was like wait I should google I should google what the flags actually do look like this brought me to 
I don't know, Hussein Bolt. I'm not going to lie. It brought me to <laughs> Hussein Bolt. Um, I love it. I still love the images. I think the images on this were a lot crisper and cleaner than the images on my latest video, my last one before this. But obsessed with this technique. Obsessed. Am I going to try it again? I'm not going to lie. I am. But guys, listen, we're going even bigger because those cassette tapes, those cassette tapes won me over. They stole my heart. And I even had 80s music playing on in the background. But for me, it was the colours that didn't come through this time because they all muddied. That's user error. Instead, I will just stick to maybe just one colour or two colours and see how we get on making something that is all about cassette tapes. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the colourways and those intense, bright, neon lights that have just turned up in the tray that I was totally not expecting and it's just one of those happy things that happened when you throw neon powders into a tray and without any idea of the outcome how stunning would that be oh guys my brain I'm now thinking if we dump a load of the neon powder into a tray and then just pour black jesmonite over the top like I do want to play around with neons and blacks I said that in the last video but maybe just like clump a load of powder down like dump the powder down and then just pour black jesmonite on top how would that work do you think that would work let me know in the comments I will see you all in the next video bye